Well, Governor uh, gave a great speech, as he always does. He's great at the podium. Um, gave a positive outlook on the uh, budget going forward this year. You know, we took a lot of actions uh, revenue-wise back at the end of last year uh, that's going to help us close the deficit we have, working really on a $2 billion deficit that the governor has at least stated in his summary today is going to be closed relatively painlessly. We're still going to see a 4.1 increase to local education. We'll, we'll see the school aid runs later on how that breaks out district by district, and I'm hopeful that, that he follows through on the, the needs for our uh, rural and high needs, uh, low wealth districts that we have a lot of in upstate New York uh, in that regard. Uh, disappointed with uh, the governor's uh, mandate relief, uh, although I am satisfied that now he's acknowledged the need for some relief on Medicaid to the counties, and we'll be looking forward to uh, uh, phasing out the cap of the local costs of Medicaid. Hopefully, uh, I'd like to see it advanced faster. Um, he's providing no re relief this year. I think we need relief this year for our counties and would like to see the cost of the increases capped there. Let's put a very aggressive agenda forward for education and teacher evaluation systems uh, in dealing with specific dates on when to meet these requirements. And there's a real stick attached to the carrot here that uh, he's talking about. So uh, we'll see what progress we get in that regard.